Moving tonight, Ohio's ban on gender affirming care for the state's transgender youth is coming under fire by the American Civil Liberties Union. The ACLU filed a lawsuit in Franklin County to strike down the law before it takes effect next month. That lawsuit states personal private medical decisions should remain between families and not politicians. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is in studio tonight with both sides of this debate. Kevin. Good evening. The lawsuit claims House Bill 68, also known as the Ohio Saving Adolescents from Experimentation Act, violates the state's constitution. For one parent of a transgender child, he fears the law will have unintended consequences, which is why he wants it stopped. My oldest is gender uh, queer, non-binary. Nick Bates of Columbus is talking about his 13-year-old child, Sam, who he says came out as transgender in middle school. Parenting is hard enough without uh, the government taking away my freedom as a parent to make the best decisions for my child. He's talking about House Bill 68, also known as the SAFE Act, which bans gender-affirming care for transgender youth, a term Bates says is misunderstood. The vast majority of gender-affirming care focuses on social transitions, uh, you know, clothing, use of proper pronouns, um, and recognizing the child for who they are. Leading the charge to make the bill a law was State Representative Gary Click. The Republican from the Tiffin area disagreed with the American Medical Association, which supports gender-affirming care. The AAP does not represent all. They, they may be an association and they ha may have thousands of members, but they do not represent the view of all of those pediatricians. I've talked to pediatricians who totally oppose this. I've talked to several doctors who totally oppose this. As a parent of a transgender child, Bates says the bill could create a bigger problem. Are you worried at all as a parent that this could perhaps increase the possibility of attempted suicide or suicide among those transgender youth in our state. Yes. Governor Mike DeWine vetoed House Bill 68, but Senate Republicans voted to override that veto. The bill will become law on April 24th. Nick Bates believes the lawsuit will prevail. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. So uh, my faith draws me back to the idea that we will eventually win this fight. Now the lawsuit claims the bill violates four of Ohio of the Constitution, four members of the four parts of the Ohio Constitution, including the Equal Protection Clause. Ohio is the 23rd state to ban gender-affirming health care.